All right, this is my video on my bag. It's a Kelty Red Wing 50. Um, you can call it my bug out bag, my get home bag. I use it for hiking, traveling, everything. I carry this bag with me all the time. I work far enough away from home. I want to have this bag on me at all times. Uh, I have this bag here to show size comparison. This is the Kelty Red Wing 50. This is the Kelty Red Wing 40. This is my wife's bag. It's a little bit smaller. This is the perfect one for your wife. This is the one if you're a little bit larger. So, start with my knife. This is a uh, Gerber LMF2 Infantry. Um, I got a I got it wrapped in paracord. I have a custom Kydex sheath made for it because I didn't like the one that came with it. I got a Light My Fire Fire Steel added on the side. It's a great knife. Use it for everything. Um, it's my zombie killing button, just so you know. Um, and I got my bag in orange because I like orange and I bring this bag with me everywhere so that's why I got it in orange it's not camouflage it's orange so that's why deal with it um, inside this front pocket I've got a large print Georgia map my American Red Cross card it has my blood type on it um, got this light stick glow dark thing and a uh, bandana. This is kind of like my miscellaneous dump pot. Also, I keep snacks in here when I'm hiking. Um, now this bag currently doesn't have any food in it. Um, when I weigh this bag down with three days, 2,000 calories a day, the whole bag weighs 29 pounds. This bag is meant to get me home, if there's home, if not, to my next location. Um, I'll be fine. I've got everything I need in this bag. Start on the side. I've got my one liter Nalgene right here. This pocket will actually hold two one liter, one liter Nalgene's. Um, but right now I just have one in it. Uh, I rigged up this little system so I could drink without having to reach around and grab my pocket, or my, the, back, the bottle out of the pocket. It's just an extra Nalgene cap with a Walmart bladder system tube. And uh, it works really well, actually. Easy to make and cheap, and I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, this red monkey fist on this side pocket right here signifies my first aid pouch. Uh, it's a condor sidekick pouch. The front has quick clot in it. Um, the inside has, you know, bandages, gloves. I've got an irrigation syringe, no stuff, eye stuff, towels, tape, uh, needles. Neosporin, scissors, everything I need. Um, it's not super extensive, but it'll work. All right, and it just slides on back out there. This pocket right here, paracord. Way down here. I think these were actually designed for shoes. I've got one. Two orange work gloves, and they're dirty, so they've been used. This side, I have a GSI Micro Duelist cook set. I'm not going to take it all out, um, but it's got uh, four cups, two lids, and I also have a MSR Isopro Pro whatever uh, fuel container in there. It's a really, really good set. This pocket, this is kind of like my hygiene and food pocket. I've got aloe lotion, Vaseline, that's cat, um, suntan lotion, and a tube toothbrush. This thing's really cool. It keeps your uh, toothpaste down here and your toothbrush up here. Also have another isopro container, toilet paper, soaps, and an extra toothbrush head, spork, Nose fork, MSR pocket rocket, scraper, and can opener. Put all that crap to the side. Now, going inside this front pocket, we'll start here. Uh, Cadine Hiker Pro water filter. Pumps water really fast. I picked this one because it actually uh, has an adapter for the small mouth Nalgene. 
unlike the MSR, which only has an adapter for the wide mount, I'm pretty sure. I actually haven't bought it, so I don't know. Um, binoculars. This little dump pocket. I've got sharpener, orange mini mix, uh, yo yo reel with a uh, fishing kit in an earplug container, a duct tape, magnesium, silicon key, water treatment tablets, wet fire, energizer headlamp, sparky orange. Uh, waterproof matches, also orange. A lot of orange. Just jam all that crap in there for now. Alright, up here we have Repel Bug Spray, Orange Pin Light, um, a USB drive with all my important files on it. I've got a right in the rain pad. There's no pen in here, but with my work, I always have pens on me, so there's, there'll be a pen in my pocket. Uh, SAS survival guide. Got two foot by four foot towels. Uh, coffee filters. Poncho. Wet ones. Sewing kit. Emergency blanket. Trowel. And that's it for that pocket. have this beaner, this S beaner up here, mainly just to, so I can hang my bag if I need to. Um, it's got like a 75 pound weight rating, so it should be fine. Um, inside the bag, there's not much in here. I keep a lot not in here. Mainly, uh, I usually have my food in here, which takes up a lot of space, but also I want to have space for stuff I collect along the way. Uh, I also have the bladder from the bladder system. Um, in there. And in here, I have a outdoor products dry bag with my shelter stuff and some clothes stuff. I have, I bought both the Coglins and the MSR Groundhogs, and I hate the Groundhogs. I actually bent one of the Groundhogs. This one here, actually bent, um, and I haven't bent these, plus these are orange, so I like these better. Um, these, this is a wad, I don't know why it's in a wad right now, but there, it's 100 feet of 10 foot sections of green paracord for my shelter, already pre-made, you know, very little work goes into getting my shelter ready. I have an ENO slap straps pro. ENO double nest deluxe, not orange. Uh, CR Designs rain lightweight rain jacket. And then in here I have long underwear, extra socks, extra boxers, all that boring stuff. What I don't have in here right now is my tarp, which I'm in the process of changing tarps. And actually I'm in the process of changing my shelter system too. Um, I think I'm going to end up going with a, uh, a uh, REI Camp Dome 2. It's a two-person, lightweight, four-and-a-half-pound tent. I think I'm going to end up going that direction at some point. Um, but that's it. That's my bag. Uh, I hope you'd enjoy it. Thanks.